Recently, uh, Michigan State Senator Mallory McMorrow gave a hell of a speech after a, Cong a, a senator, Republican senator, in a fundraising newsletter uh, implied that she was some sort of, uh, she wanted to allow kindergartners to be sexualized or they were grooming them to be sexualized, etc. I mean, it is, it is a position that, that the Republicans have been trying to put in the ethos to scare white women from voting for white women with children in schools to use it as a wedge issue they believe worked in Virginia to win these elections. Actually, the governor in, in, uh, eked it out in, in, in Virginia, right? Well, this woman gave a hell, this senator, uh, senator, state senator uh, Mallory McMurray gave a hell of a speech that really admonished Republicans. But it's what she had to say in the speech, to, in an interview on uh, Joe Scarborough today that I think is of importance. I want you to listen to this and then we'll take it on the other side. I'm curious about the senator uh, who made this accusation that you were uh, you were upset that kindergartners uh, couldn't be sexualized and that you were a groomer effectively. When you looked directly at Senator Tice yesterday and said what you said, did she look back at you? Because everyone's very tough online on Twitter and fundraising emails. What did she do back? What did she say back? She said nothing back and couldn't even be bothered to look me in the eye. I mm. looked at the back of her head the entire speech she turned away from me and you know in part of that fundraising email she accused me of being an online social media troll and yeah. i have never been one to shy away from saying things to people's face and she's too much of a coward to even acknowledge my existence um what has changed in the last few years it is this rising extremism and we've seen this play out with gerrymandering you know the fact is michigan is a very purple state we vote pretty evenly democratic uh, versus republican but the legislature particularly the state senate has been republican controlled since 1984 despite the fact that in 2014 they only got less than 50 percent of the votes they got 72 percent of the senate seats and it encourages going further and further to the fringes and we had you know, an attempted kidnapping of the governor, and we just saw how that trial played out. But the day that we learned in the Senate about that plot, the Senate Majority Leader walked out of our Senate chambers, walked to the front of our Capitol, and rallied with the same hateful conspiracy theorist that plotted that kidnapping that came to our chambers fully armed and threatened us and told them to keep going. Mm. That's where we're at right now. And unless oh, wow. we all push back and vote them out of office, it's not gonna get any better. How has the response been to your speech on the floor? I mean, the, the numbers speak for themselves. This was definitely not something that I wanted to do to, to go viral, but if the message is that hate won't win, I think we're proving that and we have to say it loudly and clearly and and stand up for those who are being attacked because one day it might be us and i know that everything that i felt the day that lana tice accused me of being a groomer and sexualizing children is that much worse for a trans kid who is getting attacked every single day who just wants mm. to go to school and have friends and get through the day the response has been overwhelming and my hope is that other white women like me who are doing okay are the ones to stand up and put an end to this because it won't unless we do it. Now she hits the nail on the head. I mean, she had some very important messages and I want you to think about it. First of all, you know, we've spoken about this country being undemocratic for quite some time now, that they've gotten less than, that the Republicans got less than 50% of the votes and still ended up with 70% of the senators, says much about our democracy. But she also had a message, and specifically a message to white women, because that is, that is, the, that is the, 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 uh, the identity that these guys are trying to get into right now, because they know it's a very democratic identity. So what they want to do is put the fear into these women. Their school is under attack. They're going to do this to your kids. And she's saying, no, the people that, are, that, are, that, that succumb to that fear so far has been white women, and she's saying, white women, stand up. It is time for you not to allow them to use you as pawns to do wrong in this country. I thought her message today was a necessary addition 
to much of what she said yesterday because she presented to, to, to America exactly what's going on and what needs to be done. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.